the police stopped us over. I mean, they pulled us over. And I was, <laughs> I was like, I was so frightened. One, I know um, the reason why they are pulling us over because they always go home and they don't get any issue. Hello guys, I'm back again. I think this guy sh should give me um, an ambassador role because I'm, I'm advertising the ice cream for free. <laughs> Anyways, Nestle Smarties. Uh, it's very nice. It's very nice. You just get yourself this Nestle Smarties ice cream. And if you know them, send this video to them. And then give me a, an ambassador role to play. Yeah. All right. So today um, I'm back again with another interesting story. And fortunately and unfortunately, this happened to be my own story. Yes, I was arrested <laughs> in Canada. Canada. Okay. So what happened? Um, about two weeks ago. Um, it was on Sunday. I, I went to church. Um, yeah, I went to church. I don't want to mention the name of the church, but if you follow me, you know the church I attend in Canada. I went to church, and then after church service, two hours after church service was closing, so I decided to go home. Yes, I stay about um, 20 minutes drive from the church, but then apparently, um, my friends had a car so one of my friends had a car so he was heading towards my direction not my house but my direction so i opted to be in his car so that when I, when we get to a junction i'll just take one bus to my apartment other than taking two buses from church so what happened um you know the driver's seat is the driver one um one seat beside him and then um, three guys or three persons behind the driver, I mean the back seat. So a normal Corolla salon car. And then I sat at the back. So instead of two guys joining me, three guys joined. Why did three guys join? They always go home together. I mean, they stay in the same house. All guys stay in the same house. And then um, the, guy, the guy who is the driver drops them off every time. But this time around, I wanted to join them so that we can, I can just drop at the junction and continue. So I became the, the fourth person um, behind the car. I mean, the fourth person, yeah, behind the car instead of three people. And something funny happened. So about a kilometer to uh, um, where I would drop to get a bus home, the police stopped us over. I mean, they pulled us over. And I was, <laughs> I was like, I was so frightened. One, I know um, the reason why they are pulling us over because they always go home and they don't get any issue. But I joined them just one time and then they had to be pulled over by the police. So we pulled over behind one restaurant or so and then the police immediately um, moved towards our car and then he asked all of us to I mean, come out of the car and then we were charged with two offenses. The first offense is that the, um, myself and the three other guys behind were not in our seat belt and then what in Ghana we call overloading. Like we are more than the minimum number of, sorry, we are more than the maximum number of people that are supposed to sit um, at the back. And back and forth with the policeman, he, he decided to give us a ticket. So a ticket is like a fine. He was going to fine us. And he asked for a um, G1 driver's license. He went into his car for about an hour. I don't know what he was doing on his PC or whatever. He came back and he was like, our offenses are two. One, we were behind the car with our seat belt. And two, um, we're supposed to be three and then we are four. And then, I, I, I mean, I immediately owned up. I was like, okay, I mean, I'm the reason for all this mess. Apparently, I was just dropping at the junction. It was even two minutes before, two minutes before I would get down. Two minutes before I would get down. So I was trying to explain 
my friends were giving me uh, like policemen you know Ghana guys when you're Ghana boys and you're trying to confront police I'm not, I'm not a criminal bro I've not committed any um, offense it was just a road traffic offense so I needed to explain myself he wanted to find all four of us and I was like I am the one I was I was kind of being furious and I remember see I'm not in Ghana <laughs> I should just be steady and then take my offense and then get my ticket. So he, I mean, he had already printed the, the fines for us two, two fines each for every person, and was two forty dollars each for like every person two forty dollar, two forty dollar, two forty dollar for not wearing seat belt, two forty dollar for um, being four behind instead of three each. So every person, every individual was going to pay $480. $480. And then the only other remedy was that we were going to go to court and explain. I'm like, yo, go to court? <laughs> Even in Ghana, I've not been to court before. Why am I sharing this story with you? Please, just obey road traffic signs. If you are driving and you are supposed to stop, stop. If maximum is 40, drive within 40. If maximum is 60, drive within 60. Don't overspeed. Wear your seat belt. See, in this country, we don't give policemen bribe. We you can't bribe the policeman. Wear your seat belt. If the car has a, a maximum capacity of six, it should be six. If it's five, it should be five. If it's two, it should be two. Don't try this, policeman. Don't like them. Just don't try the laws, especially if you're not a citizen. Don't don't try them. Even the citizens do not get it easy. Don't try the laws, please. So that was my arrest. I mean, it wasn't. You were were you expecting were you expecting me to go to court like um, get arrested in prison? No, 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 no. It was an arrest. I mean, but I was given a fine. And after a week I paid. I had to I have to save up four eighty dollars. Just just imagine what four eighty dollars can do for you. Not even in Ghana, like in, in Canada. Four eighty dollars. Okay, so please um do what to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm bringing you true stories from Canada. Very soon I'll be traveling around the world. The mission is to visit each and every country in the world. If you want to support my YouTube channel, you can you can send me an email albertanum10 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram real Albert Anum, on Twitter same Albert Anum, on TikTok real Albert Anum. Let's get connected and see how we can explore the world together. Thank you very much for your time watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out.